Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering the division box method. And this is a different way of doing long division. The process is going to be very similar to traditional long division, but the benefit to the box method is organization. This method can help stay organized throughout the whole process, and it's going to help keep columns lined up. So in this specific video, we're going to be dividing four digit numbers by one digit numbers. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have 6,815 divided by five. So 6,815 is our dividend. It's the number that we are splitting up or dividing, and we are dividing by five. So five is our divisor. So the first thing we need to do to set this box method up is draw out a rectangle here or box. Now, the more you do of these, the better you will get as far as spacing and having enough room for everything. So once we have that rectangle or box, we need to split it into four sections because 6,815 has four digits. So four sections here, and we need a digit in each one of those sections. So we'll start with the six, then the eight, then the one, and then the five. So once we have that set up, we can put our uh, five, our divisor, on the outside. And our problem is set up and ready to be solved. So we can go through the steps at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, and repeat. So those are basically the same exact steps um, that you use for the traditional long division method, except we are going to bring up with the box method instead of bring down, which you do with the traditional method. So we'll start with divide, and we start with this six here, and we are going to do six divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of six? One. Then we multiply. One times five is five. Subtract, we get one. Six minus five is one. Now we bring that one up to the next section or column. So we have 18 now, and we need to do 18 divided by five. So how many fives out of 18? Three, that gets us to 15. Now multiply, three times five, 15. Subtract, 18 minus 15 is three. So we bring that three up, and we have 31 now. So we need to do 31 divided by five, which is six, that gets us to 30. Six times five is 30. Subtract, 31 minus 30 is one. Bring our one up to the next section, and we end with 15 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of 15? Three. Three times five is 15, and then 15 minus 15 is zero. So that zero there at the end tells us that we do not have a remainder and this worked out to be a whole number. Um, so we have an answer of 1,363. So this top number here is our answer. It's common for people to think that this number down here is the answer, but in reality it is the top number. So always look at the top number for your final answer. On to number two, where we have 1,927 divided by six. So let's set up our rectangle or box here. And we need four sections again because we have a four digit dividend. So 1,927 and six is our divisor. So let's start with our steps divide, so we need to do one divided by six. How many whole groups of six can we pull out of one? Well, we can't do that, so we need a zero here. Zero times six is zero. One minus zero is one. Now we bring that one up. So we have 19 divided by six. Well, we can pull three groups of six out of, um, out of 19. That gets us to 18. So let's put our three here. Three times six is 18, subtract we get one, bring that one up and we have 12. 
So 12 divided by 6, how many whole groups of 12, or I'm sorry, how many whole groups of 6 out of 12? Well, 2. Multiply, 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract, 12 minus 12 is 0. So we can bring that 0 up, and we have 7. So we're going to end with 7 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 out of 7? 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1 here. So that 1 there is going to be our remainder. So we get 321 remainder 1. I'm going to rewrite our answer here. 321 remainder 1. So there you have it. There's how you use the box method in order to solve a division problem. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.